Some Long Island taxpayers are fed up tonight with pollution and trash at their once favorite beach. Suffolk County residents being told swimming is off limits in historic Lake Ronkonkoma. So the beach lovers are asking, who's going to clean up that mess? CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan with the story new at 6 o'clock. It's hard to believe this was a resort area at one time. Quinn Volgraf walked the shoreline of Lake Ronkonkoma, Long Island's largest freshwater lake, dodging glass and trash, beer bottles, needles, nails, even old railroad ties, emotional with memories. Smelling the hot dogs cooking at the little concessions and whatnot, and people coming in the evening. They came by horse and buggy, then trains and Model Ts, a playground of the wealthy during the roaring 20s and beyond, 34 pavilions. Pavilions, gracious hotels. Instead of all these geese and other birds, they were people. And every day at the pavilion, the staff would sweep the whole beach. Joe Molinari clings to her old cabana key and prays for a return to the glory years. How long have you been waiting for action here? Oh, years, years and years. The Improvement Society is demanding answers. Who's responsible to clear remains of the historic bookstore that burned? Or horrible blight that remains on the once famed grounds of the Bavarian Inn? It's almost too complicated to believe. The bottom of the lake is owned by the town of Islip. The town of Smithtown has a small portion. The town of Brookhaven has a portion. And the county of Suffolk has a portion. Legislator Leslie Kennedy explains, with three towns and one county all owning a share, it's been decades of passing the buck. Finally, they are working to apply for a joint grant. But it, it's like pulling teeth. No yeah, way people could swim in here, though. Know. Yes. Oil, too, and blue-green algae. The first of several community meetings to put pressure on local governments to take action will be held here tonight. From Lake Ronkonkoma, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. That lake has a circumference of two miles, and experts say it'll take decades for the lake to become pollution-free.